Hey everyone, Leon X here, and today I'm going to show you guys a video tutorial, or I'm going to do a video tutorial of uh, how to get the Return of Castle Wolfenstein co-op mod to work. Uh, I'll be getting a few uh, questions about this recently, and um, uh, I decided to do a video tutorial that hopefully will help you guys out. So pretty much uh, the first things first, you know, just make sure your games are installed. Make sure you have uh, the latest patch. The patch that I just patched up is a 1.42B. Uh, so, so, so yeah, that's the patch that I'm using, 1.42B. Um, and just uh, just know where your your Wolfenstein folder is installed. So pretty much for mine, uh, I I chose the default. So it's C drive. Uh, program files 86 that's pretty much 32 bit and it's uh, return of castle Wolfenstein so pretty much yep this is where uh, the main game is at so <clears throat> let's get started okay so pretty much uh, make sure you guys download the uh, co-op mod which is from this website here www rtcw.wcoop.com so yeah just make sure you get the uh, the latest mod 1.0.1 .1. uh, if you don't know which version of Windows you have just get the 32 bit you know just to uh, just to make it easier on yourselves or if you guys know which OS you guys are using you know here's the rest from Linux to Mac and things like that, but if you if you're on Windows, just get the the 86, the 32 bit version. So, okay, so pretty much once you get the mod, uh, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna minimize that. Okay, so here's my mod. So pretty much when you unzip this, when you unzip this, you should ha you should see these files here uh, when you try to unzip. So pretty much what you want to do is just drag this whole thing here into your uh, main return of uh, Castle Wolfenstein folder. So uh, just go, you know, my default is C, program files to return to Castle Wolfenstein. You just want to drag this whole thing in here and just let it overwrite everything. So I, I, I hope I, um, what I mean by main, I don't mean like this folder main here. Uh, I mean the main directory to the return of Castle Wolfenstein. So once you got that, just remember uh, go to your to your zip file for your mod, drag the whole thing into. Well, I want to make this easier. So just uh, highlight this whole entire folder here, drag it into your main directory of the Wolfenstein folder, just like that. And if it asks you to um, uh, replace the, any type of folder, just say yes. Do this for all conflicts. Oh, before we do anything else, turn off your antivirus. For some reason, uh, your antivirus will uh, it will detect one of the the files here as like it's not safe. But ignore that. Nothing on the f uh, folders here uh, are, are are not um, are not harmful or anything like that. So just turn that off. Okay, so let's get on with it. Uh, so if it asks you again, if it asks you to uh, overwrite uh, any existing files, just say just uh, say yes. Do do this for all current files. Say yes. Move and replace. Yes. Uh, do this for the next. Uh, Five complex say yes move and replace and if it asks for a, a, admin permission just continue okay so once you got um, uh, all the files in uh, next uh, pretty much this is uh, where you 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 will launch the co-op uh, uh, file or the co-op game it's pretty much uh, it's it's in the same directory. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Uh, you want to look for Return to Castle Wolfenstein Co-op here. Uh, this is the main uh, menu. When you launch it, it should launch really easy. 
Okay, so... Pretty much, yeah, this is the main menu for the uh, co-op uh, game, uh, gameplay. You know, to join, you just hit join. And hopefully there will be some games here. Uh, you want to... The, the, the source here is pretty much, you know, if you want to do a local, which is LAN. Or if you want to go online. Uh, I, I'm not sure if people are still hosting servers. You know, you just gotta get new lists. And, and there you go. There, there's uh, some people that are hosting uh, their own cooperative servers. Um, I'm not gonna get into the um, how do you uh, create a server online. Uh, due to the fact because um, every everybody has a different router, and pretty much I can't really. Uh, I can't really help uh, much about that. You have to really uh, know how to know your own router, get into your your router, um, and uh, change ports or port forward uh, the correct uh, ports for for it to work. So I'm not gonna get into that. But that this is pretty much how you get into the online uh, co-op uh, game servers. Just make sure you, uh, you're on the source master co-op uh, dot com thing here. And if you want, uh, easiest is LAN. If you want to play LAN, just go local and then um, just do your usual create server. Uh, pick a map, you know, do your your usual settings, and just just put something like non-dedicated uh, game type things like that. And then you know you just you know, just start the server and. Yeah, so pretty much there you go. And then I think, I'm not sure, but let's see if I can launch another one. <laughs> this is crazy. But yeah, so join game and there you go. There's the the, the, the LAN server here. So I'm not going to try and get, get into a game within my game. But yeah, something like this should pop up on your LAN server, a uh, source local here, like that. So that's that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna quit out. And uh, yeah, I think that that's how you get it to work. So uh, oh yeah, and uh, just you know, just make sure. I think this is the, the default the first time when you launch the co-op mod. So just make sure you know you change your video settings and things like that. So. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the video tutorial. I hope you got. I hope it helped you guys out a lot. Um, yeah, it's very simple. Just click and drag, and just throw it into the main return to Castle Booth assigned directory. Um, another, I think another question I got was uh, missing missing files too, and uh, a few people asked me to send them the files, which I have no clue what they were talking about. I I had to look this up, and for some reason, some people were missing some files. Uh, and from the looks of it, most of the files are in the main, the actual main uh, folder here. If you do get some uh, missing files, uh, from what I was told, so much my my best advice is just reinstall the whole thing and just just do it again, and uh, just make sure you have uh, I guess the latest patch, which is one point four two b. And that that should that should save you some trouble. Um, anything else? Yes, just go to the to their actual site here and go to the forums, and uh, go to the RTCW Co-op, and just just kind of look around. Just do a little bit of research here and there. It's really easy. You should you, you sh from from the from how from from the from the way they explain this. It's pretty really you know re really simple. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why a lot of people were having uh, trouble. I, I was too sure if it was uh, the antivirus that was deleting either uh, some of the f uh, files here, or uh, maybe the uh, it was an incorrect patch or something like that. But knowing that, it should be it should be really be uh, really simple. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video tutorial. Uh, please subscribe comment and share and then check out the rest of my gameplay videos and i hope you guys enjoy them too and uh please uh ask any other questions i'll do my very best to help you this is an awesome mod thank i just want to thank uh uh whoever 
did this mod. I mean, it's really, really awesome. Uh, I mean, it was a good thing that they did this. Uh, I, I would never thought it would make it to PC. I mean, I thought it was just going to be on Xbox. The only thing I think they really need to do is just add the uh, the the, the uh, missing mi missions from the Xbox to to the PC. That would be really be awesome. But you know, knowing that this mod is already good enough as it is. But knowing that, you know, hope hopefully this video tutorial will help you guys. Please enjoy the game, and uh, have a good day, everyone.